Colt from Spittin' Tax Upholstery. Welcome to Little Ireland. It's important that you take a step with us Paddy boys because we're going on a journey here. Are you ready now? So, I and I, American, Irish. You know, if it wasn't for liquor, we would be ruling the world. So, here we go. <laughs> Are you with me? Welcome to the shop. That's the back door. You turn around. This is Ezekiel. Okay. This is Enoch. That is Moses. And over on the wall over there, that's Job. Anyway, let's move on. Let's do some upholstery. Here we go. So to, uh, <clears throat> where we left off was we had... Uh, <clears throat> this old spit and tax chair, it was uh, all done with tax. Mouthful of tax, magnetic hammer. No new, there wasn't one staple in this whole chair. This, this is from the 30s. So I pre cut a bottom, a back, two arms, and we're going to sew some. Uh, we had a, a piece of uh, burlap that, that tightens down the deck where you sit. Okay, and that's called a deck. And then, you know, you have a front piece. I'll show you how to do all this. So, when you buy your cotton, it comes in like 20, 20 yard rolls. Just be mindful. When you pull this apart, that you're gonna wanna put it back the same way if you can help it. Normally, these folks know how to tie slip knots. And uh, yeah, they didn't give me that love today. So, I'm going to have to have a word with my distributor. Anyway, they're good people. We're in Spokane, Washington. It's fall. And uh, our distributor in this area is Royal Upholstery. Outstanding people. Good talent there. Honest, loyal, good folks. Anyway. So. You take your stuff apart. And be mindful of all of this when it comes to your cotton, okay? Because you have to stow it away when you're done using it. So you just set it on the floor, you know, <clears throat> do your thing. So your cotton, and roller. You want to keep this, this, this sheet of paper, okay? You'll see how it, how it unfolds. Be mindful of that. You see how this unrolls now? We're on the right side, aren't we? Yep, yep, yep. See that? So you want you want to be treat this with kid gloves when you unroll this roll. Okay, because you want to roll it back up and stow it away just like it came. This stuff's expensive. So this is our chair. This is the old cotton. The lady that wants this chair done wants it to feel like it has always felt. That's what, uh, when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, the chairs, the home furnishings, people are real particular. You got your grandma's chair, you've sat in that since you were a kid and Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that stuff. You don't want it to change. I mean, I'm the same way, I, I, I'll hold on to, uh, you know, my family as long as I can. Because you know what that is? That's called love. Furniture and family is love, okay? Which reminds me, real quick, and then we'll get going, okay? Just only take a second, so check this out. So, true love. Love is always patient and kind. Love is never jealous. Love is not boastful or conceited. It is never rude and never seeks its own advantage. It does not take offense or store up grievances. It is always ready to make allowances, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 5 and 7. So I'm telling you, you know, a little bit of love goes a long way. You around? You with me? Are you with me? Are you with me still? Guaranteed a pleasant journey here. Here we go, go, go. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to start with, uh, okay, now you see the slope of this? 
this old chair, they did this on purpose like this. The board underneath is flat, but they've, this has brought on a contour, okay? And she wanted to keep that. So what you do, just to enhance that, or what I do, is, you know, that's about what, 10, 11 inches. So I'll come over here to my, to my roll, and I like to, I like to cut my cotton in a straight line, then you work with it from there. You want you, you don't want it to lose what it is. It comes in a roll for a reason. So we'll come up over here and we'll give a uh, we're looking about 15 inches. About 15 inches, about half that. Oh, I'm gonna be breaking my tape measure. So yeah, we're in fall, summer's waning. But I still got a fire going because I love a I love a good fire. Look at that fireplace over there. That's we just put that in. I still got my rock wall to do. Makes my elk look good. So what we do is we pull this up. Remember the hog hair and the horse hair and all of that. So what we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna put one layer, okay, and then right right towards the back there, we're gonna just give it a, a little roll, a little roll, and then if you come over onto this side. You'll see with cotton, see that? I'm just gonna come down and I'm just gonna tear it. Okay, push and tear to where it's just booming. And don't worry about, you know, little danglers or stuff like that. That's, that, this will all, this all covers up. And then the old stuff, you see how it kind of, how they split it and you can kind of tug and pull, but um, you'll see, you'll see like that, that knot there, that doesn't work anymore. You'll see how it laid before, and you just adjust. Your eye will tell you. It's gonna sweep up and it's gonna gently, well, it's kind of a pretty good rise, but it's gonna roll over. Now watch when I lay this down. Look at that. See how that brought that back? Look at that rise. And then when we put the upholstery on, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna pull it down, but it'll, it'll, it's, it's gradual. And then that cotton, over time, just like this stuff, it settles in. So that's one. Here's the other one. We can remember you come to the front. Well, actually this. And give it a little roll. Come to the side and pull it. We don't want to come down over the top of that. So you, you come all the way around and you just, you, you tear it off. Okay. Some of this stuff, we save this for, you never know what, what you can use with this. You're going to make pillows. You're going to use it for stuffing. Um, always have a bag. You know, and then once you have one bag, quit getting bags because your whole shop will be full of stuff and you, and you, and you won't have no room for anything else. So be careful you don't turn into a hoarder like me. Anyway, so we're making a mess. We're not going to use cotton on, uh, on this. We're going to cover this chair and deck around. We've tore it down. So the first thing that we do is we, we replace what cotton we're gonna replace. This is the front of the chair. If you'll notice this, um, this is called an edge roll. You know, it's under your legs. Well, this is all covered in burlap, all right? It's uh, like right here. This is just burlap, like a burlap sack, okay? We use this a lot. Uh, it, it's, an, it's an enclosure. Uh, on the, on the seat that you sit on, there are springs and all the springs are tied in a certain fashion. If you look down here, come down here. I've looked down in there and they're anchored perfectly. They have not degre degre uh, degradated or that's the word, right? They have not, uh, uh, they have not failed. All the ties look great. The springs look great. Everything looks great. I'm not gonna mess with this. Just the front of it, the burlap, had worn off over time. So we're gonna reinforce the top here. Just the front, just the very front, okay, with the new piece of cotton. And then we're gonna reverse, sew down to where it folds over, put a piece of cotton in front of here, and then staple down a new piece of burlap, okay? Because the burlap, you stretch it to where you can bring this to a certain level, okay, to where it's tight and firm. That has lost its, uh, 
its purpose. So we're gonna start with a little bit of cotton and then we're gonna sew on a piece of Dacron just like we're going to sew on the decking. That's later. Um, like I said, it's layers, layers and layers. Don't panic, don't panic. It's a chair for heaven's sakes. It's a chair, okay? Inside backs, outside backs, a decking you sit on. Everything goes back through the chair and ties down. And I'll show you the techniques with a piece of chalk where you can feel back there and know how to pull it back and do a relief cut. It's all possible, okay? And uh, it's, uh, it's quite an accomplishment and uh, wonderful. When you look at this, how they made these, I mean, look at this. Look at this material that they used, you know? We still use some of it like this today. Things have changed here and there. Um, and you'll never know everything. There's always someone that does it different than you. Oh, don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. Well, that's, uh, you know what's right. You'll know once you dive into it and you see enough people that have done this. Uh, well, what's right and what's wrong? You know, who's to say? But uh, your eye will not lie to you. And there are some industry standards that you always have to follow. And uh, that's why I'm here, to help you out. Okay, so let's see, what am I doing? Okay, some cotton. That's probably about, a, I don't know, let's put like a, you know, we'll put a long piece on that one. We'll go like 20 inches so it hangs over. And so in upholstery, you'll be doing some things. You don't always have to uh, upholster everything to the wall. What I mean by that is there'll be some things that are unfinished, that are just floating, like a piece of Dacron, because you're going to put a finished piece over the top of it, and it's going to tuck down. But So you don't have to secure everything. It's to, to create that flow. You'll, you'll, you'll know what I mean by that in due, in due time. So what we do, see our frontage here? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll this. See that? I want a little roll there. I'm gonna come back a little ways with this new cotton, all right? I'm gonna enhance this edge roll, but it's gonna, it's just gonna, it's gonna fill this space. Uh, these are things that you'll learn over time. You'll know what this is gonna collapse like. This, so you fold it under, uh, you know, you, 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 you created a roll just like this. Um, and then on the sides will come, you want to come down around the edges and then tear off your excess. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be covered up. Uh, and then you want to go down like on this side here. See when I push down the springs, see that? I push down the springs. Yeah, and then, and then just tear off the extra. You can leave it right there, just like that. Little technique so it's all good. Now come over here real quick. When, see how I push this down? Look at that. I push that down. This is where the inside back comes uh, and the decking comes together and tacks down on the frame on the outside of the chair arm. So you're okay. You're okay. You don't want to build too much up, but this front edge roll, when it has de uh, degraded like this, you want to, 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 to reinforce it like this. You want it to roll it up and then let it come out and transition out. Cotton is very forgiving <clears throat> and predictable. So anyway, you come down just like the, both, they're mirror images. You come under the board, you know, the inside arm, and then you come down here on the inside of the edge roll and just tear off that excess cotton because you don't need it. You don't need it. But you want to you want to leave it on the inside to where it transitions out. So there's you don't ever want to leave an abrupt edge when you're working with cotton. You'll see it. But we're covering this with Dacron. So, you know, not everybody does this. Let's see. Okay, that's the old piece. Okay, so this is how they had it before. Now I'll take this old piece of cotton, put it back where it was, put it under the boards, come forward with this under the boards. Okay. And this is still good. 
Now, now you've got a nice, nice little lip that comes up. But what we're going to do when we go to sew this is uh, this will pull it down a little bit. So when you sit in it, it won't be such a rise. But you want, you in the front of the chair, you want some resistance. You want some meat. You want resistance. So, I know I say that a lot. So, so, so. Or not, you know, the public speakers, they go, now. After every sentence, now. <laughs> I know, I'm a weirdo. But, uh, I mean, well. So here we go. Here we go going, like my buddy Joe says. <clears throat> so you can push down the back. Now this whole seat, it pushes down, it pushes down, it pushes down. You can get under it and behind it. That's how you get these bottom backs in and these everything. It, it goes in and hides inside the chair. And you'll see soon. So anyway, we have that going on. You're going to take a nice hook needle. I use button twine to do this, kind of a repair. You can't let this uh, go unanswered, this front piece like this. And it's fine. So we've done that. So I'm going to come on the inside. Of, I'm going to push this back. I'll scooch it back when I'm done. But I'm going to come on this. I've already pre-cut this. And I've went like, you know, three inches over on each side just for wiggle room okay so if you come in like this you bring it to the front all right so bring down your needle give yourself about eight eight inches ten inches and <clears throat> what we'll do on this you want to keep it square put it under the boards where your inside backs go so you have a real good visual, okay? You got a good visual. Now all this is gonna fold forward, all right? But for now, what we wanna do is come here on the inside of this edge roll and I'm gonna leave myself, you know, see that? I wanna, I wanna tail, cause I'm gonna use this to anchor this, to pull this down, okay? You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm gonna leave about that much. I'm gonna come on the inside of this edge roll. I'm gonna hook it. I'm gonna come on up. So I figure I want about at least that much of a tail. So an upholster's knot is one, two, cinch down, one, two, you see that braid? Bam, locked in. So you got this tail. So this tail is gonna go down if you come over here and look underneath. I'm going to use this. See that? I'm going to use that to staple that down. That's going to hold that at, a, at the height I want. See that? Wherever. I mean, I, I can't see it from here, but you get the, print, the, the, the idea. And then you, you'll staple, you'll staple your, your button twine, and then you go back and staple over it, and then pull back and staple it over it again so it zigzags and it'll never come off. And it'll hold this perfectly at the level that you desire. So anyway... Now that you've anchored it, this is just how we do the decking the same exact way. So you don't have to get crazy with this, but we're just going to, you're going to come in, you're going to come over about an inch, come in and then hook up. Okay. Make sure it's on the top. Bam. On the inside, if you hold that camera up, you can see what I'm doing. You want to come on the inside. Okay. Like I said, we're gonna do our decking the same way, but this is just a repair. Instead of having to tear all of this whole thing down, which it doesn't need to be tore down, we're going to repair it like this. And like I said, if, if the springs and everything's, you know, there, there's no in, loss of integrity of, of, of the, the support mechanisms, the springs and how they're tied down and everything. You don't have to tear all that down. There's, there's absolutely no need to do that. Don't fix something that ain't broke, you know, and don't, you know, charge somebody for something you don't have to charge them for. You be honest in upholstery. It'll get you a long way. People always come back and they know that you're a good man or a good woman. I'd like to see more, more ladies giving the boys a run for their money. Okay, so you come to back, you just do a, like a half hitch, bam, okay, cool. 
That's all you need to do. And then, okay, we don't need that much, so we'll cut off that extra. And like I said, you push that down, see that? And just stick it, stick it under there until you're ready to adjust it. But for now, now look. Okay, this is our repair. So now we pull it forward and look at that. It comes right over the edge roll, okay? And then we're going to staple it in front, okay? But first, what we're gonna do is what I like to do is we're going to take a piece of Dacron because chairs, you want, chairs have meat, chairs, you know, you wanna, you wanna puff. So look at that, look at that, that's perfect, okay? We're gonna, um, let's see. We'll come and we'll put the burlap down. Uh, yep. Well, I could wait till the end. Yeah. It's much better if we do it this way. We're gonna fold that in. We're gonna fold that in, okay? And get it flat, okay? So, and uh, where is my staple gun? I swear I'd lose my, there we go. So let me get behind you here. There we are. This is the Bia. This is the best one you can get. They're reliable. They're awesome. You can get the Fasco's and whatnot, but uh, you know, these are about 275 bucks to 300 bucks. Long nose are real expensive, but. So what you do here is we're gonna come down to where your eye will tell you, okay? We're gonna come down to like right here. And I'm gonna come and I'm gonna staple it underneath. Right in the middle, okay? Then I'm gonna come on this side. And I'm gonna see, we're gonna, we're gonna level it out. And then I'm gonna, on, just on the inside, cause I wanna fold this over on itself. Always put five drops of oil in your gun every morning. If you're, you know, if you're working these things, keep them oiled, they'll last forever. But see that? Boom, 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 boom. Want to bring it around? I'm tugging it down with my finger. See that? I'm making it straight across. I can tell. And then underneath. Okay. And then on this. Oh, I got a, I got a little leaky poo. So anyway, sorry about the howling. You want to fold this in on itself. Okay, come inside. And then you come up here and, yeah, like that, see? So that frontage is repaired. Like I said, I'm not gonna tear this whole thing down just to put a new piece of burlap across the top when everything is sewn into it and it's not compromised. So, like, if you'll notice, everything is different. The contours of this chair, how this comes down, see that seam where these two pieces of wood meet? Well, that's, that's, your, that's your margin. That's what you always do. See that? Never exceed it. Make sure it's level. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just underneath, okay? So, that's how you repair your front. And then we're gonna put a piece of Dacron over this whole piece, okay? So we built this up. I'm happy with this. I'll scooch this forward a little bit. Lots of adjustments. You'll see your eye will tell you. Now, I see that that dives a little, a little radical. We're gonna fix that. But let's come over here. Now you see our, our, our depth that we acquired. Okay, remember our tail, our string? So you always, you wanna see, you wanna step back, look, look, I like that. You've adjusted it already. So it is where it is. So this locks it in stone. So now I'm gonna come over here, okay? 
And what I what I'll do is I'll come up over here and I'll go. I wish you could see this. I'll show you a a mock up. Now look in there with the camera and see how I stapled that. Can you see that up under there? See that zigzag? See that? That's how you do it. Then it'll never, it'll never pull off. It goes deuce, 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 deuce. You're good. Get in the habit of, of anchoring your strings like that. They're twine, excuse me. And don't distort it. See that? We're good. Come under here. And then I'll go back. Remember the zigzag? And then I'll come back. Now look at that. That's another example. Can you see that? That's how you anchor. Don't do it any other way. Ever. So, okay, so. I, that's gonna drive me crazy. Let's, uh, let's put a piece of cotton. Always take your measurements. You're building stuff up, okay? You're rebuilding an old chair. It, you know, you're, you're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. So I can see where the transition, I'm gonna come back with a piece of cotton just under there. Let's cut one at 16, it has to go under. So you wanna measure under, under your boards. Let's go 16 by 28. happens to be 28 inches wide. So, let's rock a foot. And boom, boom, eyeball. Don't get too crazy. You know, when you're doing stuff like this because you tear this to fit. Okay? So we'll come back over here. Our front is rebuilt. We're good to go. We're going to bring this back. Push down. I like it like that, so I'm just gonna put this right here. Look at that. That's a good transition. You go underneath the back. See that, how it all goes out? You push down and look how that flopped out. See the front where you're at down there? See how that all just flopped under there? That's great. Now come forward, come over here in the front. Now, I just kind of feather this in. Now you see it's flat and we still have that rise. But when we upholster this, this will still scooch down just enough to where that's flat, okay? And then we still have room to come in here and sew our decking on. So there's a fabric that goes here, okay? A decking fabric and then there's the fabric of the chair that comes over the front. They meet in the middle with a sew allowance, half inch always, remember? You sew that sew allowance down to here, just like we did in the boat. The boat seat, remember how the transition from the big wide foam to the, from the four inch foam to the five inch foam? And we had that anchor that we'd sewed on to the half inch sew allowance that gave it that transition look, look. That's what you sew on to. Same thing, same thing. And then you'll see here, this was her grandma's chair, so she wanted the old, well, anyway, I'll sew on the old uh, 1937 Portland, Oregon sticker that was on there. You know, I don't care. You know, I, I'll staple my card underneath. <laughs> but, because uh, it's, you know, it was grandma's chair, so you gotta love them up, give them what they want, you know. So I'll always, always save those, whether it's a, a, a little copper plate, like this one had a copper plate that's stamped on the back. I'll put that back on. That's right, uh, that's here, you know. So things like that, always always make sure that you put those back for them and make it a treat for someone. Upholstery is, uh, you know, it's very technical and there's lots of steps to do it right and make it, make it wonderful and make it durable, make it lasting, you know, but, uh, Another big step is you want to make it personal. This is a treat 
from people. You know, what we do is awesome. Don't ever forget that, you know? And it's, uh, there's nothing greedy about it. Uh, there's a million people that, that want to do it, and there's only a few of us that do do it. And uh, some of us are pretty stuffy about our ways, but, uh, you know, oh, give and take. It's, it's, it's nothing, you know. Uh, you never stop learning with upholstery, by the way, which is, I, I just love, I love it. I love it. It's just, it's artwork. You know, my shop, you look around my shop, it's an art studio. I mean, look at this place, you know. You make it your own to where you walk in, and it inspires you to be excellent and great and good and, and honest and, and, and fluent. So whatever it takes to make your area, make it your own because it will change the way that you work and it will change, uh, uh, you know, the quality of your product to excellence. You know, I myself give all glory to my father, King Jesus, Yahweh, his Yahweh, King Jesus, Holy Ghost, you know. That's the, that's how I roll. But uh, let's see. So, okay. These will pull down. I know they look real high right now. It looks kind of corny, but it won't look like that. Like I said, uh, cotton is very forgiving. And uh, okay, so we've rebuilt the front. Uh, you're gonna wanna trim off, trim up your salvage on the bottom. That burlap as clean as you go with, with you know all your different techniques <sighs> yep and uh, you make yourself little stands this happens to be a little piece of iron bar but uh, like make a you know like a miniature sawhorse and then upholster the top of it and, and make one at 10 inches and make one at 12 uh, they'll save your bacon. Make make two of each. You know, like if you look at this, see how I have this propped up? Mine were old. I've been revamping the shop, and I, I've... You'll see them in a video. To, uh, I mean, it won't take long. I gotta, I gotta break them out, but... Uh, but see, sometimes you'll need to get up like this to get a better look or a perspective to where you can stand back like this, and you can go, okay, because you're gonna be doing a lot of that. Left and right. Everything's a mirrored image, okay? <laughs> so... We came underneath it here. Uh, all of this really doesn't matter. You don't have to. You don't have to tear that off. It's not going to be in the way because the decking is going to flow over that, and the inside back is going to flow over that. They're going to anchor down. That's going to anchor this side of the arm and the inside, and then you come around, okay, and then you anchor to right here. So, uh, oh look at that! I forgot to. Uh, like I said, there ain't a. There ain't a staple in this thing. These are all tacks. But I am just weird about this. I take everything apart, even if it's staples. You know, in the industry, you're working for someone else. They're just like, ah, take a, take a grinder and just rah, run it over and, you know, whatever. So that's that hog hair, and you see that dust coming off of there. But this will all tuck up. And when we come under, we will staple right to there. And then we'll put a tack strip with a reversed and it will come over and there'll be Dacron. There's, we're doing a different style than they did. Like I, I, I told you, we're gonna, we're gonna update it. They use cardboard. You can use cardboard still. Lots of people do it. But there has to be a Dacron on the outside of it. Okay, and this is what we're gonna do. This is our bottom. Now, if you'll notice, you know, I'm, I'm weird about marking everything. You got a right, you got a left. I got to put the bottom, you know, I never mark the field. You'll never see me, whether it's a piece of Dacron, you know, and if I, if I wasn't doing this video, I probably wouldn't, I would just do it, but it's a good habit to get into, to, to mark everything that you do. So how we'll start this is we've, we've, we've uh, rebuilt the front. Okay. Now we're going to center this. You take your Dacron. I've already pre-measured it, how far it is from the front to the back. I split the difference, eyeball it, lay it in the middle. Okay. I'm coming here to the front, to the front. Come on the inside, push down, hold that camera up, push down. 
and push that dacker on underneath. You see that hole under there? See that light? Everything's exposed. This seat, it's a seat. You have a seat, then you have arms and a back. And everything goes in and under all of that. It's, um, you'll get it. It won't take long. And you see how I'm pushing this underneath? See how, how it's coming out? Look at that. So I do this with cotton because now look at this. Now look at this. It's perfect. Now you, you touch this or you bark this, it's going to booger up on you and it's going to leave a hole. It's going to show. You want to cover this. Always. Whether this cha the chair is brand new or not. If there's even, even a brand new cotton. Brand new cotton. Just like this. Brand new cotton. Still cover it with Dacron. Because then you have a perfect, flawless, flawless medium to put your finished upholstery on. You know, you spray this with silicone. And then when you go to start tugging and pulling, everything just, just flows like a Kung Fu master. Ha <laughs> ha. So. Now, we have it pulled down on the sides and in the back. You can see here. See that? Okay. And if it's too crazy long, you trim it up. You don't even have to tack this down. I wouldn't tack it down. Okay? Because the inside back's going to come around, and the top of the arm is going to come around. Then it tacks down. Then it's all locked in together. Okay? Then if you lose your quarters on the inside of your arm, you're sitting in your chair, or your buck knife, you just kind of push down and reach down in there and they, they meet like this and you don't lose nothing. So, you know. Yep, yep. So are you guys with me? Yep, we're in Spokane, Washington. Fall is going to be here. in just three days okay so yeah you just want to manipulate everything so then you come to the front what do we got we got the front here okay so you got a piece like that that comes out and you're like okay well that's not laying right always come to the inside of the arm and cut it at an angle you can push down like this see that come up here and go boom See that relief cut? The other part comes in here. The other part comes down here. Okay. Now you're going to pull this like this. So this is going to be trimmed off. And then I like to, when they come down like that, I like to do like a little dish. See, and then it just, look how that folds perfect. Okay, and then when we staple this, we can just kind of tuck that in or trim it up a little bit, doesn't matter. But you see those, those folds? That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Again, come up over here, come straight down and then dish in, okay? And then push that, let's see, get that relief cut there. See that? And it comes under on the other side, just like the rest of it. See how it all folds in? You know you got it when you're doing it like that. And then see again, you know that this, see this comes down. You got that burlap behind there. So you have that, you know, you have that backing. So it's like I said, it's layers, it's layers, proper layers. So then we come up over here. Remember what we did? We come up over here. A little circle. Look at that. You got a little staggered edge. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Upholstery covers all that up. So, so now the back and the sides, okay? The sides and the back, they're floating. Do not staple those down when you're doing this. Okay, you're, you're, you repaired. You added cotton, you built it up. Now look at that. Look at that. You come to the front here and look at that. Look how that rised. Look at that. That's perfect. Right? And then 
again. Now watch. If there, if there happens to be just a hint or whatever, you come down here. Okay? And always with your Dacron, always come under the edge. Okay? And once you have, now you'll have um, the salvage. When you're, when you, you know, you got finished upholstery, you got Dacron, you got cotton, you got this, you got that, and you're starting to acquire, a, you know, a heavy medium. Then you're going to want to go to, a, you know, a 916th, you know, a longer staple opposed to the standard staple. This is what I use on everything. But when I'm, you know, when stuff starts, you know, building up, don't get too crazy with uh, your buildup either. <sighs> Change it. Diminish it. Try to keep things real, real flat, uh, always. Just try to keep into that habit. But if, if you do find yourself in a certain arena, now you see, I already know that I've got my depth. So I'll come down, I'll, I'll give it one little snug. Then you can come back up and you can look, and I like that. I'll come up with a, just a little snug and I'll come down under here. Usually an inch underneath. An inch will give you all the room you need. And then, see that? Three or four right in the middle. Always throw an eyeball on everything. Make sure you're still good. Never commit until you are sure that your eye is pleased. See that? Like I said, follow the contours always. You gotta lift, be mindful of these things. What are they? Where are they? You get in where you fit in. There's another tack. Look at them little suckers sneaking around on me. There's another one under there. But I just, like I said earlier, I love seeing all the different styles. You know, what a man's mind, or a woman's mind. Women were doing upholstery too, probably in the old days. But, it, you know, predominantly men's, men's world. But uh, those days are over. Good grief. Women are so much better at so many things than we are. <laughs> it's the truth, though. Uh, so, yeah. But keep it like that, that inside arm. I'm just going to, you know, take your time. And if you put that, put that cut in there and clean that up. See that? Come over there and look at that. See that? Right here. So, yeah, you just clean it up as you go. Be mindful. Watch what you're doing. Come back. And I love that rise. I'll come back on this end and I'll, I'll kind of tug towards me and down and come over, hold it an inch under, always an inch. You can feel, use your thumb. You come back through and you trim all that off. Be careful not to cut your burlap on the bottom. Don't go rushing through things. You can walk through something and not even know it and cut something and go, oh no, and you have to, I mean, sometimes you could really get in a pinch for cutting something, you know, cutting through something you didn't realize you were cutting through. So be mindful, always look underneath, what am I doing? You know, am I gonna compromise any other piece that I've already done? Things like that. So what we've done, we've done a repair in the front. Okay, with burlap, we've done uh, a decking stitch, stitch essentially. You fold the burlap back, you fold it under the arms, loop stitch it, you know, anchor it first, loop stitch it, leave a tail, half hitch, leave a tail, come back, pull your burlap to the eye, staple it, get your cotton where you want it, anchor your two pieces to the height that your eye tells you it should be. You've done enough chairs like I have, you know. See that? 
that's uh, that's a perfect repair. And look, that didn't take long, did it? It's correct. Okay, it's correct. So there'll be more of a of a, of a of a taunting to make it taut. You know, once we once we secure the back. That's why I left the sides and the back floating. They're not anchored down, just the front. So this will this will still push back. There's still more techniques involved, but this is the first part that gives you an idea. So then what I do is I always do my, uh, uh, my, uh, my seat first, decking, whatever. This isn't decking, decking comes next, but uh, this is essentially a form of decking. Uh, now we're gonna do our back. How much time we got? You're about 45 minutes in. 45 minutes in? Okay, so we're gonna stop this video real quick and then we'll start another one. And then we'll start with the back and then we'll do the arms, okay? And, uh, but this, this, this gives you an idea. You see, come over here real quick and we'll finish it up. But you see this? You can, you can, you can ding this up and there'll be boogers and, and, and knots. This will show, this eliminates that. Your whole chair should be done in Dacron. And then you start the magic. But there's still several steps. So I'm Colt Allen from Spit and Text Upholster. Please subscribe and like my channel. Um, we've just started. You want to do this? I'm your guy. Watch. Talk is cheap. Okay. So I guarantee you this much. <laughs> this Paddy boy will walk you through the park. See you around like a donut. <laughs>